Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well. I considered not making a video this week and I still think this might end up being a compilation of multiple weeks, potentially this and next week. Um, or I might add this footage on top of last week's footage. I don't know what I'm doing yet because all I've been doing is studying um, and going to the lab. I was in the lab two and a half days this week. So everything has kind of been a lot. <laughs> I don't think I've really explained in the past couple of weeks what's going on now after I took my last exam but basically I have an exam on the 15th of July and an exam on the 18th and so I'm preparing for those obviously it's a lot of material it's a lot of work one of those is maths so obviously that's more exercise based but because that was a first year course that I didn't take my exam for back in first year because I'm an idiot I I'm now re-watching all of the lectures because I thought we've got recordings of them. We don't for all of the other subjects, for, but for maths we do. And so I thought it would be worth it to re-watch all of them and take notes from them and basically just redo the entire course because I figured it would be like kind of easier and more comprehensive of a lot of little details that I used to know back in first year because I was fresh out of high school and I went to a scientific lyceum so we did a lot of maths than I am now <laughs> when I've not been doing maths for three years and I'm like I don't know how to count anymore <laughs> so that's been one and then the other one is more is just studying based so I've been studying for that and it feels like it's all I've been doing <laughs> I um, wasn't sure again whether I wanted to film both because I don't have anything worth it to film really because all I'm doing is studying um, but also because is like it's another thing to keep on top of but I've taken away so many of my little routines that I normally have which are like journaling and drawing and filming and editing I've taken away so much of all of that already that just straight up saying I'm not gonna film a video this week and next week to take that pressure off felt worse <laughs> like it was making me feel worse so I decided I'm just gonna film a couple of clips here and there and then figuring out what to do with those clips and pulling a video together from those will be future Sarah's problem from when she's already done with exams very likely <laughs> um so you know we'll see where this goes but this is just an update I'm deep in the trenches at the moment everything is chaos um, I wanted to film a bit of talking sooner in the week but on Saturday when I was at the gym I broke my pinky nail and so I only had nine nails and I looked horrifying on camera I and so I didn't want to film because of that and it was just another thing where like I've been at my desk writing and taking notes and all of that and I kept looking at my hands and I was like everything is such a mess my hands are a mess my room is a mess my head is chaos everything is chaos so that's the vibes that we're working with which not ideal but we're making it work um considering the fact that I kind of made myself a schedule 
for where I wanted to be each day and what I wanted to do each day for the for basically the three weeks that I had to prepare these exams. But I didn't include my lab hours because I I wasn't sure when I was going to be going to the lab. We kind of decided those week by week. And it was kind of too hard for me to predict beforehand. So I didn't put them in and I thought it was it was just gonna be easier to add them in and adjust accordingly instead of like having to move things around from things that I'd already put in, if that makes any sense. So considering that I hadn't taken those into account at all, I'm only like half a day behind schedule, which is a miracle because I was in the lab two and a half days this week. So I fully expected to be like at least two days behind. I'm not, so that's great. I have been studying until late. I was doing maths exercises until 11, 11 yesterday night. And I like when I came home from the lab Monday and Tuesday, I came home and I did more things like I was studying, but it's been working and that's what's important at the moment because I really am very tight on time with these exams but I really just want to take them because otherwise I'll have to take at least one in September and I just don't want that to be the case. So it's tiring and it's a bit overwhelming. I haven't had a breakdown yet which you know I'm impressed by but I think like if if it go if it works out it will really have paid off. Hopefully it does actually work out. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm trying my best and I feel like it's important to rest and to have balance and to really prioritize that balance and it's something that I try to do as much as I can all of the time. Right now it's not the time for that. Right now it's the time to just go and get it done because uh, it's just I don't know it needs to be done it'll be better that way um so I'm trying my best um I have set up a new traveler's notebook it's not traveler's notebook I get my insights from wanderings but like a new traveler's notebook regular sized notebook which are the ones that I use for my journal not because I've finished this one but because I only have like three or four pages left I was hoping to finish this by the end of the month. I didn't. Um, I, I've not. I've been journaling, to be fair. I did journal quite a lot throughout June. Um, I'll be filming the June wrap up either this afternoon after I film this or tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow. We'll see. Um, depends on the light, kind of, because I feel like it's kind of going. But that's a good chunk from June. Like, all of this is June, which is a pretty substantial part of the book. That's a lot of pages. There's a lot of pages that I really like. So I'm happy about that. But um, I thought I had a picture printed out that I really liked and I felt like it would fit nicely on the cover. So I just stuck it on earlier today, but there's nothing in here yet. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna set up my key either because I ended up not doing it for this book. I fully intended to, just didn't get around to, but also, I haven't really been tagging my entries. I did for like the first half of the book, but I most of them I kind of went back and tagged like after the fact, but a lot of them aren't. And then kind of from halfway on, I think definitely the past month isn't tagged. So I don't know, it's just been fine like that. I feel like because I've moved my commonplace to a different book, I haven't been feeling the need to tag things in the same way, if that makes sense. Even though I still have different kinds of entries, like some of them are art related, some of them are personal, some are more memory keeping. I don't know, haven't felt the need for that, so I haven't done it. Um, but I've set up the new one and I really like it. I thought they, look, they looked really cute together. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you that. And also, I've set up my weeks spread this week. I'll talk more about it in the June recap, but I've been having thoughts about the weeks, about like, I want to change something because I feel like I'm getting bored of the spread that I normally do, but, and I feel like it's not working anymore because I don't check in with it, but I don't know what my needs are. And so I don't know how I want to change things in order to fit these new needs because I don't know what they are. I feel like I've just been too overwhelmed to really comprehend what's going on and I'm just kind of going by like inertia and I'm not really stopping and thinking about anything else. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe after I'm done with exams, like maybe I won't need the to-do list for a little bit anymore. I probably still will because I like to be organized even if it's like just in terms of editing or drawing, I like to be organized in terms of that. I like to have a to-do list and be able to check things off. But hopefully I won't have to like do things for a while. Like 
that there's, there's not going to be any must do's for a little bit, hopefully. Um, and also, I'm officially halfway through the haunt, so that's very exciting. I, there's nothing like, I don't know, there's not a lot of new things to show in here because I've just, got, well, actually, maybe there is because they did backfill a lot of it at the weekend. Forgot about that. Um, these were blank, so I filled these in. Um, these two, and then I think I had like these four pages, and then I backfilled from this page onwards as well, uh, because Ju the end of June was also part of this whole chaos, uh, so I just kind of backfilled all of it in a morning, and I'm really happy about it, halfway done, um, and then I missed the first, but I have entries for a couple of days after that, so that's fine. Um, we went to see Inside Out, actually that's a ticket, that's a parking ticket, but this is the movie ticket. We went to see Inside Out, me and Mallory, um, on Tuesday night, uh, Inside Out 2. Uh, we'd seen Inside Out 1, I think, when it first came out. Um, it was really nice. I hadn't rewatched number one before watching this one, so I went in and I was like, wait, what happens in the first one? Because I do not remember it, but um, it was really good, it was really nice. It, I think it was kind of what I needed, I, I like kind of like a cheerful um, evening. We laughed a lot, we had a good time, so really happy about that. And then we came out and we got ice cream on the way to the car, so that was also really lovely. Um, I don't love the fact that the next two months are blue, but it is like July's month, July's blue is a nice blue, so I'm happy about that. Uh, like, not the biggest fan of blue, but as far as blues go, this is a nice one, so I'm happy about that at least. Um, and also, like, she's chunky. Um, but I was thinking about it, because obviously if it gets to the point where, like, I can't write in this anymore because it's too hard, I can always just get the second half of the EVEC. And I was thinking about it, and I was, like, watching a couple of videos from people that have transitioned into the second half of the EVEC. One of them was The Common Corner. Um, I really, really enjoy her videos. And she made a couple, like, a few videos about that. And then the other day she posted the video where, like, she properly transitioned to the new one. And I was watching it and I was like, I am too emotionally attached to this book to let go halfway through the year. I could not do that with the EVEC. I would be devastated to have to let go of the first half and start a new one. And like, I would much rather deal with the bulk, <laughs> to be honest. So at the moment, I have zero intentions of getting the EVEC, also zero intentions of getting the EVEC for next year. Um, I don't have very specific plans for next year yet, but I think I would like to keep something like the Hon again, because it's brought so much joy and so much comfort. Um, I find it really comforting to know that like my days are documented and that I have like proof that things happened and also it really makes it feel because it's always like time flies you know it's always like how is it July already but flipping back through this I'm really like it, it, it makes a bit more sense it really feels like a lot has happened and it's like okay I didn't just throw away six months things actually happened during those six months like I did things I went places I saw people I made memories and I documented them and I'm very glad to have that so it just it feels very important to me at the moment and I think it's something that I would definitely like to upkeep next year as well or like to bring into next year as well um, I don't know if it will be like with the same kind of intensity because now I all of the pages are completed in here there's no blank page pages there were two that I left blank one um that was still blank in from June that I went back and stuck a big picture on I don't know which one it was I think I just printed out a picture of my cat yeah this one and then one I think in March or April where I did a similar thing I don't know if I also put a picture of my cat I probably did um but yeah, no, I put a picture of some artwork. This was the other one. But I put some pictures on them, and now the entire, like, first half of the book is filled. So now, and it, it's kind of felt like that since the beginning as well, now I feel like I really just want a fully completed book. Like, how satisfying would that be? Uh, I don't know if for next year I'm going to be a bit more loose about it. Um, obviously, it's not the end of the world if I miss a few pages, and, like, 
I don't want it to be a chore. Like I backfilled things at the weekend because I really felt like journaling and I really felt like kind of putting pictures in and going back and writing about all of those days, even though on some of those days, nothing particularly important happened. Um, so it's not the end of the world if like those got left behind. But I feel like for this year, I would really like to have the fully completed book. I feel like it would be very satisfying. And then maybe next year, if things are maybe a bit more busy, which I kind of expect to be with my masters, though I don't know yet, obviously. But if things get a bit more busy and I don't necessarily have time or if I don't really feel like documenting every single day and like all of the everyday mundane things in the same way, I will maybe be a bit, a bit more loose about it and leave some pages blank and only write like half pages and stuff like that, which I haven't been doing. If I start a page, I get to the bottom of it. I don't know. It'll be interesting, but um, I just wanted to ramble on about it for a bit. I think I'm going to probably repeat the same things in the June video as well, because there's still like relevant thoughts about the six month break. But I wanted to talk about them as well in this video, because I think it's um, it's interesting and I'm really happy about about this. So. That's a bit of a, a ramble about journals, I guess. Uh, a bit of a tangent that I didn't necessarily expect to go on here. I also haven't been reading a lot. I've been reading... I've not been reading, <laughs> to be fair. Um, I've got the car over this week, so I've been driving to the lab and majority of the reading that I do is on the public transport that I take to go to the lab and come back. So because I haven't had that, I've only really, really read like... I don't know, did I read like 20 or so pages? Maybe more. I was here. So I read, yeah, I read like 20, no, I read 40 pages this morning on public transport when I went to get my nails done because I figured it was going to take me longer to park the car than to like take the bus and go there, to be honest. Um, so I am about 60 pages from the end. Um, I think I am going to read a little bit tonight. I'm gonna try to not do maths until an ungodly hour like I did yesterday, um, but I really want to keep reading this. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's so good. Uh, I love the writing. The writing is incredible. I really love the characters, the ca like all of the quirks and the ways that they're described and like the way that they talk about each other. I really, really love it. Um, I'm so happy that I picked it up. <laughs> so I'm having a great time. The only complaint I have, actually the only two complaints I have, it's written really tiny and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> so it's not ideal. Um, and two, the pages are so wide. Like, look at that in comparison to the weeks. <laughs> I would much rather the paper be this color, but it isn't and we're we're making do. Um, I do also have to go back and underline a few a few quotes, a few passages that I really like, but um, yeah, I it's a weird book. Um, it's a bit weird, but like good weird. I like it. So that's that's my review so far. Um, I'm I should go and study for a bit. I think I'm gonna go and study. And then I'm gonna have dinner and have a quiet evening and then film the June recap video tomorrow. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe try to film something for this too. Everything has been chaos. I hope, <laughs> I don't know if it comes across in the video. Um, I feel like I kind of wanted to because that would be like a true representation of what is going on. But I'm also not filming a lot because all you would be seeing is my massive stack of, of maths notes <laughs> or pharmacology notes. I also, by the way, I'm reusing the paper that I bought when I first started considering um, rings for a commonplace book. I bought a stack of Muji A5 grid paper. I already had the binder with um, like plastic envelopes in it to keep pictures and I've just moved those uh, to the bookshelf. They're just in a stack. But I bought a sack of paper and then realized that if I was going to get a nicer six ring binder, this wasn't going to fit in there. So I stopped using it and I was like, I'm going to, you know, it's not going to be wasted paper. I'll use it eventually. I am. Uh, I'm halfway through the stack. <laughs> um, I don't think, I'm not going to finish it with notes. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to finish it with exercises either because I got a separate notebook. I got a hideous yellow notebook, <laughs> an A4 book for exercises just because I like having the extra space. You can't do anything on A5, but um, it's good for notes. It's been good and they look decent enough. So 
I don't know, happy about that. But also not the most riveting content for, the, for, for video. Like I'm sure people are here to kind of relax and not to, to see maths. So yeah, I don't know. I hope that you're doing a bit better. I hope the things are a bit quieter for you.
Again, I was meant to film this on Monday and it's currently Thursday afternoon so um, that might give you an idea of how the week has been going together with like the vibes we had for last week which have very much persevered and potentially worsened so that's great I'm not doing great <laughs> um, but I don't want to talk about uni or exams because I'm like 
this close to having a breakdown about it all. So we're going to talk, talk about the positive things because I do have positive things that I want to talk about. Um, the concert, first of all, on, on Sunday night, it was really, really good. I So I took the bus to go there because it turned out to be cheaper than uh, paying for the parking and having to drive myself and the petrol and stuff. Um, but mostly it was like that way I didn't have to drive, especially because then on Monday I knew I'd be studying all day. So I still got home at three, but uh, I slept on the bus on the on the way back and I could read on the way there. So it was a lot better. <laughs> um, it was a lot less tiring. Uh, the concert was really good. Um, Eminence opened and I didn't know them. They're a Swedish band, I think. Um, I've been researching a little bit, but not as much as I would like to, but I've been listening to some music in the background. Um, I really, really like them. They are sick. There's a couple of pictures that I've printed from theirs, uh, from their concert. There's these two especially um, are from like a guitar solo. I think it was the two guitarists that were playing it. Um, and I think the, co the the song is called L'Appel du Vide. Um, though I don't know how you would pronounce it because it's a French saying. But I don't know how you're meant to say it in, in English or in Swedish or whatever. Uh, their songs are in English though, so I don't know. Uh, but I printed a couple of those pictures. Um, I printed them twice actually. These are like from the official video that they posted about it and then some like lower quality ones that I'm gonna put somewhere else. Um, and then I <laughs> I accidentally messed up because I was only meant to print one of these but when I went to export the, the page I didn't turn off the layer and so this picture got printed on top of two other pictures that I had of Youngblood. So I only have one, two from his concert and then um, the other ones are from the Break Media Horizon concert. Um, that was the last one. Um, I was mainly there to see Youngblood. It was so fun. He's out of his mind and I love him. <laughs> um, it was such a fun concert. I had a really really good time. I'm really happy that I went. Uh, it got a bit overwhelming towards the end, but um, towards the end of like the Bring Me the Horizon concert, it was just, it was a lot. We were quite, uh, we, were, we weren't in the pit, but we were quite, quite close to like the start of the other section. I don't know how you would call it. <laughs> we were quite close to the front though. Um, and so people were kind of pushing and everybody was dancing. So it was a lot. <laughs> I was a bit like shaking, but it was fun nonetheless. Um, I had a good time. We got given stickers as well, which... Never gonna say no to a sticker, even though the organization of this place is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> and I will say that with my chest. Um, there's this other festival that we go to in France sometimes. We've been twice, I think. And it's happening this week as well. Um, and Youngblood was playing that too, but you know, he was playing so much closer. It was just a lot easier to go there, uh, to go here. But um, they posted, they started posting about it this week and they've got like, I don't know, everything is so much better organized and they do their best to make things easier every year. Uh, the festival is called uh, Musilac for anyone that is interested, um, but this, they don't. <laughs> everything is chaos and everybody knows that, but they have good headliners. So it is what it is. Um, and then I have my ticket, which I'm also gonna include somewhere within the journaling so i'm happy that i finally got some of the pictures printed and then i also have a picture from the week i've got some more that i want to print out from yesterday because it was mallory's second thesis it wasn't technically graduation day because they're having like the official graduation graduation ceremony in september but they have technically graduated it's more it's more of a formality than anything else um, and then i also printed a book cover because uh, and I wanted to give you an update about books as well. I finished reading Bunny on... When is it that I went to study at the cafe? Saturday, maybe, when I was running errands in town. I think that must have been it. Um, I finished reading Bunny and I was sitting at a cafe and I finished reading it and I put it down and I just stared at a wall for like a solid five minutes processing. <laughs> It was so good. It was really, really good. Um, I think I'm gonna give it like four and a half stars or something like that. Don't go into it expecting to understand all of it. I think it's meant to be confusing, so just enjoy that if you're gonna read it. But I think it was a genius book. I really, really loved it. I am desperate for someone else to read it so I can like discuss theories with them <laughs> um, because I have theories and I have thoughts. 
but it was such a good book. I loved it. I can't wait. Um, I left my bookmark in here. I always put my bookmarks back into the books that I finished reading and then I'm, I, I'm, I keep running out of bookmarks and I'm like, you need to take them out. So that, it is what it is. But um, I do actually need to go back and underline a bunch of stuff because I've done the thing where I've marked it at the bottom of, and side of the page, but I haven't actually gone back and underlined all of it. But really, really good book. It's a weird one. But it's a really good one. I don't know what I don't want to talk about it too much because I'm afraid I will give spoilers, but it's very different from the other Dark Academia books that I've read. It's very atmospheric, it's very eerie, and I had another word that really came to mind when I was reading it and I can't remember it now. But uh, it's very atmospheric. The writing is beautiful. It's so beautiful. That's a lot. It's very it feels very spontaneous, like all of the intrusive thoughts are really spelled out and I love it. Um, but it, it, it does get confusing <laughs> um, and it does get a bit dark and very weird and I really liked it. So just, just know that. I think it's better if you go into it not knowing anything than if you go into it like expecting something. That's what I'll say. And then after that, because I'm still waiting for the other books that I ordered to, to arrive, they're going to take a while because they didn't have them available. I, I think they, they said it was going to take like three weeks or something. But um, I picked up The Ministry of Time because I was watching a video from Emmy. Uh, she has a book channel and she made, I think it was a vlog where she was reading this. Um, she was reading a couple of different books, but one of them was this. And it really sounded very intriguing and... I wanted, I immediately wanted to read it and they had it at the bookstore. So I reserved it so when I went to run errands on Saturday I could just pick it up really quickly without having to look for it everywhere. Because oftentimes with English books they'll only have like a couple of copies and they'll have them already hidden. So it takes ages to find them. So I was just like reserved for pickup. <laughs> um, and I picked it up and I read uh, the first bit on the bus on the way to the concert. I read the first 84 pages. I've not read any more since, so I'm still there. But I've been underlining some bits. It's a, it's really beautiful so far. It's really, it's really interesting. It's, uh, it's an interesting concept where essentially the British government has discovered time travel, but they haven't actually done it before. And so they're, they're kind of, testing it out and that is testing it out are uh, kind of trying to bring forward people from the past that have died in their own timelines so as not to mess up the timeline and so the protagonist's role is she's a bridge and so she's basically tasked with helping one of these people that have been brought to the future essentially with integrating into society like helping them integrate into society um, and the way that it's written is brilliant. I think this is a debut novel and I think it just came out. I think it came out in May. Um, but if it really is a debut novel, like <laughs> it's insane. It's really, really beautifully written. The writing is beautiful. Love it. Um, and I think that's why I'm underlining so much. It's really witty and funny as well. And it's just, it's very much of a pleasure to read. I think stuff is going to happen that, is, that are going to disrupt everything in a bit but again I've not been, been able to keep reading. It's not a particularly long book, it's like 350 pages so it's not like insanely long but I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this before exams, I don't I don't expect to <laughs> uh, unless I start reading one evening and I go to bed at like four because I, I just started reading it and I finished it, which is also an option, but probably something that should not happen. So we'll we'll see how that goes, but I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Um, I'll, I'll update you on how I find it eventually. Um, for now, I've made a plan for what I want to keep doing for my revision and stuff, and I think it could potentially work. But again, I'm still just very on edge about everything. And I have not done anything apart from studying and going to the lab for the past like two and a half weeks <laughs> and I am not feeling good about it. So um, I wasn't going to start studying until like half three anyways. It's uh, 3.25 at the moment. So that's great. Um, I'll finish. I'll wrap this up and uh, start studying. But 
I wanted to just head out for a minute to at least get the pictures printed so tonight I can not cut them out and spend like even just an hour journaling or like collaging pictures and stuff because I need something like that to make me feel like I'm not an empty shell of, of a thing which is what I feel right now um, which is not good <laughs> so we're trying I don't know we persevere um, it is what it is it's gonna be over in a week's time yeah, a week's time, because I'll, uh, by this time next week, I will be done with exams. Uh, I've got my maths, my maths exam on Thursday. So, it, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've also got another graduation next week. Um, actually, more than one graduation, they're just all within one day. Uh, and at the weekend, I'm going home Saturday, but I'm coming back here Sunday, because I've got to revise on Sunday for my exam on Monday. So it's just... It's a whole thing, but I'm hoping to print out more pictures of the weekend. Um, especially I want to print out the pictures that I have from Mallory's graduation yesterday, but my dad's got those and I haven't received them yet and like edited them and stuff. Um, and I've not like picked which ones I want to to print and that. So I'll do that at the weekend uh, and hopefully carve out a tiny bit more time to journal then. Uh, and also just spend some time with the cat and with my parents. I did see my parents yesterday because they also came to Mallory's graduation, but um, I've not properly been home for two weeks, which is not usual for me. So that's the update. <laughs> did I did I talk about everything that I wanted to? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. So I'm, I wrote down a post-it <laughs> with the things that I wanted to mention because I'm so scatterbrained. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. At some point, we'll be fine.
So today, I don't know if you can tell because I've tried to adjust the light as best as I could in camera, but it's a really dark day. Yesterday afternoon, it got so hot that like it was impossible to do anything. At one point, it was like 8 p.m. and I stepped out on the balcony thinking there was, there was maybe going to be a little bit of a breeze and it was going to like feel better than it did inside and it was like stepping into a steam sauna <laughs> so that was not ideal and I've left the windows open all night and it did cool down overnight because it's a really autumn-y day today yesterday night it was thunderstorming this morning it was as well and it's just it's cooled down a lot but it's difficult to cool down the house so I've just tried to keep everything open all of the doors and stuff so it cools down a bit and I think it has but it's also just really dark <laughs> um it feels like 3 p.m on a February afternoon so that's also not ideal can we just get an in-between <laughs> for once not like the two opposite extremes that we've been getting anyways the plan for today because yesterday got so hot the plan for today was to perhaps go study at a cafe not for the whole day, um, maybe just for the afternoon. I don't know if I'm still going to do that because it's not as hot today, though I don't know how hot it's going to get this afternoon. Um, obviously at the, at the cafe there would be aircon, which I don't have. I don't even have a fan, <laughs> so um, that would have been a lot nicer. But I will see what the rain is like because I'm not going to go out in the massive thunderstorm like just to study at a cafe we'll see we'll see what that is like um i've made myself a plan obviously i have my to-do list in the weeks and then in my moleskin i've just kind of broken that down in morning and afternoon and if i've got to move things around it's just a bit easier to do it this way and uh, normally i'd kind of do this in my calendar like on my ipad or my phone but it's not like i don't know how long each task is going to take me so it's difficult to do that with time blocks so I've just kind of I've done the equivalent of time blocks without the timing <laughs> um so we'll see we'll see how that goes I am a little bit behind because as I said yesterday I didn't really finish what I was meant to do because it just got too hot I couldn't focus on anything I was just sticking to everything um and that was not fun but I I'm just gonna get started it's about nine um I think Time is it? Oh, 10 to 9 in the morning, so earlier than I expected. Um, so I'm gonna finish my tea. I've just done a little bit of planning. I've lit some candles to brighten up the space a little bit. Um, I'm not melting, so that's good. It's still very humid though, so it's still all very sticky, which is not ideal. Uh, probably still gonna have like three showers today, but I'm hopeful. This is like my only full day of studying this week and I really want to make it count and then tomorrow morning I'm driving home. Um, I'm really happy I don't have to drive home in the rain today because it's meant to be a good day tomorrow and then I'm coming back here on Sunday so I'll try to make the most of Saturday and Sunday as well but obviously with the traveling it's not going to be like a full full day so I'll try to do as much as I can today. I'm still, I've got my pharmacology exam on Monday. I'm still going to do a little bit of maths today as well. I don't know if I'll do a little bit tomorrow as well. And then Sunday is just going to be full pharmacology. And then I've still got Monday afternoon after my exam, all of Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Because then Wednesday afternoon uh, is when I've got um, some friends graduations at uni uh, to do maths exercises. And then my exam is at 11 on Thursday. So... There is hope. I'm trying to, I think the overwhelm has calmed down a bit. I think I'm just like, I don't know, I'm trying to do this. If it doesn't work out, I, I don't have the energy to deal with that right now. I'll deal with that another time. Uh, one way or another, I'll be done with exams for a while on, on Thursday, like regardless of how they go. Obviously, if they go well, I'll be done with exams <laughs> until like January, uh, and I'll be fully done with my with my bachelor's. Those like those in January will hopefully be for my masters, but um, regardless, August will be quiet time, and like the end of July as well. And I am just very much looking forward to that. So there is hope. There is hope. We we will get through this. <laughs>
So, good morning. It's Monday. Um, this is not how I expected to start my week, but I wanted to give you an update about it because things got a bit weird yesterday. Um, obviously, I was meant to have my pharmacology exam this morning and I am not going. It's technically in 25 minutes, but I'm at home and I'm not going to go because I was just not I just don't, did not have it together. I have never been so stressed and weighed down by an exam before and it's a bit of a weird situation because I've taken this exam before. We had the course, it was a first semester course this year and I took it straight away in January and I passed it but I wasn't happy with how it went. Uh, right now I would accept that with open arms but uh, I thought I could do better quite easily and I still think that that is true however when I then prepared for it in February again, I did so on top of a lot of other stuff, of a lot of other exams. Same as what I was doing now. And so when I took it in February, I failed it because I failed one of the four parts of the exam. That is like a one credit thing. And so technically overall, I would have still gotten, I think, the same grade that I'd gotten before, which I would have accepted at that point. But because of the way that things work, they just said you failed it, uh, you, like you kind of failed the entire thing, which is like, okay, frustrating, but okay. But basically you can only take an exam three times in a year. And so this would be my third time and I just need it to go well. Uh, I don't really have the option of like going there and failing it again. <laughs> First of all, that would be humili humiliating for me. Uh, like I would feel like a fool for showing up unprepared again. But also, like, it's just, it would just be complicated because then I wouldn't be able to take it again until January and I would like to graduate before then. So I think, like, I hadn't realized that before yesterday and I didn't know about it before yesterday. And so I think when I, I was already stressed and, like, on the verge of breaking down about it and I realized that and then I kept kind of trying to revise and study and everything was just getting mixed up. I was not, even the things that I knew, I was confusing and I was not remembering and it was just not a good time. <laughs> and so I was on the phone with my parents for a long time. I was, I was on the phone with my dad for like over an hour. Um, and then it also like another mess about it came up and it's just, it was just not meant to be and I thought, you know what, I am just gonna let go of that, I don't feel prepared. I would go in with such a high level of anxiety, I would not sleep at all, I'd wake up at like 3 to revise again because I did not feel comfortable with any of the content at that point because everything was just getting messed up and I, that is not the way that I want to go into this exam at all. I just want to go in like I've done for the past three that went really well this session where, you know, the preparation was still stressful. Obviously exam time is, is, is a stressful time, but I when I went into the actual exam I was confident with the material, I, I was comfortable with it, I knew that I knew things and I knew that even if something a bit more complex came up or if something wasn't, like if a question wasn't posed in a way that I expected it to, I could, I had enough knowledge and I was comfortable enough with the material that I could get my way out of it and it showed and I did not feel that way at all for this exam because it was just, I cramped for it basically on top of a lot of other things and I really did try but it was just, it was not it so I let go, I let go of it and I thought that was the best the, the best thing that I could have done. I feel so much lighter. I slept so well. I went to bed early. I woke up at a good time. Uh, it's nice to wake up early at this time of the year because the rest of the day is so hot that at least if you wake up early, you can open all of the windows and air the house out. So that made me feel better. And I'm just going to get on with maths. I still have my exam on Thursday. I am nowhere near as worried about that one. Obviously, crossing my fingers, everything goes well for that one at least, but I'm going to do my best over the next, the next two and a half days to just do exercises. Um, I've got my friend's graduation on Wednesday afternoon, but other than that, I've got a full two and a half days of just exercises. And I think there's a lot you can do in two and a half days. And I'm just... It doesn't hold anywhere near the same grip on me as the other one did. Uh, it's something that I enjoy a lot more and it's just, I don't know, I was just not having it for the other one. So uh, yeah, that's that's the update, basically. Um, 
I could have just said I decided not to take it, but you got the the long you know the long explanation for it instead because I've bothered literally everyone about it, and so you know you deserve to be updated about it as well. Um, anyways, sorry if you did not care about that. <laughs> I. Probably gonna put a disclaimer about it, just, you know, with a too long didn't read at the beginning of the thing. But, uh, I, as you will have just seen, I put down a list, like a long list of all of the stuff that I want to do exercises for, um, in the weeks. I, last week I didn't use the right hand side page at all, it's been working a lot better to just have stuff, uh, in, like, kind of day to day, uh, because, as I said in the June, Update, I've just not been using my, my running to-do list on, on the right hand side of the page and so there was no point in keeping that up. Um, so I just used that page to, to make a list of my maths stuff because I would normally maybe do that in the traveler's notebook but things are a bit odd in there at, the, uh, at this moment because I've got to finish this last page but then um, as you will have seen, I, I started the new one with collages about the concert. I did manage to print out the last few pages, the last few pictures, um, but I haven't actually written in here yet and I did, I don't know, felt weird to just start with my tracker over here um, and I had space for it in the weeks and it fit perfectly, so that's nice. I am gonna try to decide how to split it now. Um, I'm probably just gonna go in order. Uh, but there's some things that I've done more exercises for already. There's some things that I need to do more exercises for than others. Um, that was my pen that just fell on the floor. <laughs> and there's some statistics stuff that I still need to finish. So we'll see how that ends up sorting itself out. But I'm feeling a lot better. I just hope this one goes well. Even if it doesn't, not the end of the world. But I don't know. I think... I just tried to put too much on my plate and it did not work. Uh, it could have worked maybe earlier on in the session, but I'm, at this point, I just did not have it in me. Um, I just, I feel like before every exam, there's that moment where you're like, I don't remember any of it, I'm just blanking, I am not feeling good about it, and then I kind of pull myself back together and I'm like, no, actually you do know the things, you've studied hard for it and you do know the things and you're prepared for it. And I just did not have the mental strength to do it this time, I think. It was very clear to me that it was all in my head, <laughs> even though like, I, I was, I don't know, I was making it a lot harder on myself than it needed to be, that was very clear, to both to me and to like the people that were hearing me talk about it, but... Yeah, it just, it didn't work out and it's not the end of the world and uh, there's still September and I think it's going to be a much more enjoyable experience uh, overall. Just preparing it in my own time and not cramming everything the two days before because I've not had time to do everything properly like I would have liked to. So that's <laughs> that's the, the long rambly version of it. I'm actually going to get started with stuff now. Uh, it's, yeah, quarter past nine, so pretty, pretty good time. I've got all day and I haven't had uh, an entire day just to do exercises yet and I'm very excited about it because I am that weird person that likes doing this. So hopefully it's going to be a good day. <laughs>
Again, you're probably sick of hearing me talk at this point, but I wanted to give some closure on the video, I guess. Exams are over. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yesterday's maths exam went so well. I'm really, really happy with that. I'm very proud of myself for the result that I got with that. So that, mm, you know, uplifted the low mood that I feel like I've had for the past few weeks. I am... I definitely think that deciding to not take that exam on Monday was the best choice. 
um, I don't think I could have done it. I And I think if I'd tr taken that, the one that I took yesterday definitely would not have gone as well because I would have just been so much more tired and stressed and like overwhelmed with everything. But um, I had a really good last couple of days revising for maths. Um, my friend Francesca also graduated. Uh, very proud of her. It was a lovely day. And you will have seen a little bit of footage from that. I got some footage with my camera because I was taking photos. So uh, happy with that. I probably won't include all of it just because that's other people, but you know, you will have seen a little bit. Um, and now I'm free, sort of, kind of. I do need to plan a little bit what is going to go on in the like in the next few months because I need to write my dissertation and I still have an exam to take in September. But next week, I am not gonna think about any of that. <laughs> um, I do still need to finish my uh, internship hours. So I'll be in the lab next week and the start of the week after that. But I find that quite relaxing like it's one thing if I'm going to the lab and then I have to come home and like study for three hours but it's another if I just have to go and be there all day it's like it's I'm doing something that I enjoy but I don't it's it doesn't require as much brain power as studying does nowhere near that you know so I've just been having a very chill day I had a bit of a lie-in, not that much of a lie-in because the heat woke me up, but then I just laid in bed for a couple of hours and it was nice. Um, and then I caught up on some editing. I was very eager to to catch up with some editing because I really enjoy editing. Um, so I finished editing episode 74 and I've, up I've just uploaded it. And then I started editing this video, which, no, actually I finished editing episode 75 because this is number 76. Um, I started editing this video. I've edited all of the talking, talking bits and I think I edited like the first week's worth of footage. So I have two more left. Um, probably gonna do that start of next week. I don't think I'm bringing my laptop home for the weekend. Although I did also spend like three hours after lunch playing Stardew because yesterday night the first thing that I wanted to do when I came home from exams was collapse on my bed and then the second thing was play Stardew Valley. <laughs> so I did that yesterday night and then I played some more today. Uh, so maybe I will bring my laptop home just so I can play but also this weekend I am going to be doing a zine jam with some people from a discord group that I'm part of uh, which I'm very excited about. You'll see some footage from that. I'll try to film it with my phone when I'm home uh, or with my dad's camera. I could do that. But I have no idea what I'm going to be making yet. It's just going to be like a little eight page zine, the kind that you can fold from an A4 sheet. Um, I have a test of that somewhere in a drawer because I have tests for all sorts of zines in these drawers, but I don't dare open them and try to look for it because it's probably going to take half an hour. Uh, everything is so chaotic. I tidied up my room just like the exterior this morning and I'm like I, I looked at it and I was like oh this is what it feels like to be a person again <laughs> so that's great um I also spent a little bit of time drawing this afternoon I didn't film it because I just did that on my bed but I had an idea this morning for some stickers that I potentially wanted to make um I really wanted to work with this kind of blue it's showing up a bit bright on camera but I don't know yeah, I guess that's a bit more true to it. I don't know. It's quite a, a, a desaturated blue. I don't love dark blue, but I think I kind of like a muted grayish pastel blue, perhaps. Um, I wasn't sure when I, when I started writing in the July pages in the Hon because those have a similar kind of blue, maybe a bit brighter uh, or a bit more saturated. But I've really been enjoying it and I felt like it would be nice to maybe make some stickers to go with that even though we're nearly at the end of the month and I have no idea what colour next month is. They probably are not going to go together but I've decided that I don't care. I just want to make some blue stickers. Um, so I did a couple of drawings. I have a little colour palette. I'm going to make some more stickers in the form of a, of a stamp because I really liked those um, when I made them in spring. Um, I really liked drawing them and I also really liked using them because it's a very easy shape to cut out. I just cut out a rectangle around it. So that's, we have a start of something, which you know, is better than nothing. Um, and I, it's been a really good day overall. I'm gonna go out tonight because we're celebrating another friend's graduation and I'm gonna go home tomorrow and then just have a very, very chill, cozy weekend, which I'm very much looking forward to. I 
I think next week I'm going to do my best to do a sort of art creative reset. Um, I think I'm gonna read a lot next week because I'm going to the lab like four out of five days so that means a lot of time on public transport so that means a lot of reading time which is very exciting. Um, I obviously haven't been reading as much in the past few weeks. I have read a bit, you know, I'm happy that I still maintained it, but uh, I'm currently like 30 pages from the end of this book, which I'll probably finish on the train tomorrow as I go home. Um, there's no English translation to it. It's It was originally written in French. The edition that I have is from 2014, um, and I could only find this translation in Italian and a translation in Spanish. So I don't think it was translated in English, but it uh, from the blurb, it reminded me a bit of a convenient, convenience store woman, just from like the descriptions of everyday life scenes, I guess. Um, and it's very much about, it's a book about people, which I really like. Um, it's gotten a bit weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, um, I there's a murder at one point. I wasn't expecting there to be a murder because it's so chill at the beginning, but okay. Um, and I'm curious to see what happens in the last 30 pages, but obviously yesterday and the day before I was just revising, so I wasn't reading, and then today I just... I've been too tired. I've not been in the mood to read. Uh, all I wanted to do was play Stardew, watch cozy playthrough videos of Stardew. Um, I might start a new playthrough, but I'm not sure. Um, I've been decorating, I'm on year two of this farm, which is my first playthrough. So to be fair, I'm probably gonna stick with this one for a little longer because um, next playthrough I might start could be with a friend, so I don't know, we'll see. But I've been decorating, I've been reorganizing some things. Um, so it's been it's been nice it's i i've needed that 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 quiet is kind of the vibe that i want to bring back into my life now so that's an end of week update for you or like an end of three weeks for you um i'm just hoping to have a very quiet weekend uh, make a zine very excited about that i'm excited to finally have time to draw again you have no idea how happy i am about that um i hope i'll be able to finish these next week that would be really nice i would love to get back to sharing stickers again because i haven't done that in months um so things are good life is good it's like exams are over and everything is just like so nice and flowery and pastel again um it's actually not it's a gloomy evening for some reason uh but it's been boiling hot but still in my head everything you know the flowers have started blooming again everything was rotting before <laughs> so that's you know that's a nice bit uh, of closure i suppose um i hope you've had a bit more of a relaxing three weeks than i have uh and thank you for sticking around if you have because uh, i imagine it will have been a particularly long video um but i hope it maybe was able to keep you some com to yeah to keep you some company english and i wish you a lovely rest of your day and i will see you soon with a new one and back to a bit more of a normal schedule again bye
Thank you.